where there is life there is hope and Everton put the defibrillator paddles to their season today with an impressive recovery from a seemingly impossible position to beat Watford in what eventually became an adrenaline fueled encounter at Goodison Park. Afterwards, Leighton Baines remarked, rightly, that it wasn't anything to get carried away by but, by the same token, this was a momentous result and a potential turning point in the season. Had Everton lost this game it would have represented a sixth successive defeat in all competitions and dealt another crushing blow to morale. It's hard to escape the feeling that despair might have started to really tighten its grip on both the fan base and the players and, perhaps, hastened a panicked move by the hierarchy for someone like Sam Allardyce to try and bail the club out through a protracted fight against relegation. Indeed, the ingredients for chaos instability and a death spiral down the drain into the depths plumbed by Sunderland last season and Aston Villa before them were already there, unforgivably incomplete business during the transfer window, long-term injuries to key players, a disastrous start to the season, the manager sacked, and, now, two experienced players having to be disciplined for their lack of commitment to the cause. Dot.